I do not encourage or condone the use of tobacco or cannabis products, and if you're under the age of 18, you can go ahead and get out of here right now. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking a one-year-old cigarette. About a year ago, I did a review of these, the Cheyenne full-flavored cigarello filtered cigar kind of things, you know what I'm saying? I did a review of these about a year ago, and then promptly afterwards, I smoked a little bit more of them, and then I shoved them in a box and completely forgot about them. Until now, when I went through that box and found these again, and I completely forgot I even just had these. So these are a year old. They have been open for the last year. So I'm very excited to give these a light and see how a year old cigarette tastes. But I think without further ado, let's go ahead and get one of these. I haven't even opened this yet, so I don't even know if this is going to be moldy or anything like that. I really do hope so. I hope it's not moldy but they look pretty clean otherwise. Let's go ahead and just smell them. I'm assuming these are gonna smell pretty stale, and I'm assuming that these, my personal guess is that these are gonna taste pretty stale as well. But without further ado, let's go to, let's give it a smell, see how it smells. It still smells the same, honestly. I, I remember the smell now. It smells the same, and uh, I'm, I'm very actually surprised that it still smells the same, and it's actually this, still this fresh. This is very surprising. But I think without further ado, let's go ahead and give a year old open cigarette a light to see how it is, you know what I'm saying? Without further ado, let's get this lit up. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> now, I can't remember what the draw is like on these, on these uh, filtered cigars, not cigarettes, on these filtered cigars normally, but the draw is very, very, uh, I would have to say tight. It's a very tight draw, but I can't remember if that's normal. But overall, really, the taste is still intact, and I am honestly very surprised. They are very dry, though. It's a very harsh hit. I don't remember whether it was a harsh hit beforehand, but if I remember correctly, it was still a harsh hit, but not this harsh, per se. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? Cannot complain personally. Cannot complain personally. All right, that. But overall, I would have to say this cigarette is probably about the same. A lot of the taste is maintained. It's not super stale. It's not super dried out, which is very surprising. It was not. It was not in an airtight box, but the box wouldn't have had a, a lot of airflow on it. It wasn't sitting on my counter for the last year kind of thing. It was sitting in a box under my bed, which is a dry storage area kind of thing, and a cool dry storage area kind of thing. So it is the ideal place to store cigarettes besides a humidifier. But this is still very surprising that this year old cigarette is really not all that bad. And I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Sorry for not talking for a second. I am just awkward with people walking by me when I'm talking, you know what I'm saying? When I'm talking, I'm just a little bit awkward with that. So I do apologize about that. But overall though, this cigarette is honestly very much a surprise. It's very much a surprise. And I overall am quite happy, quite happy to know that this year old cigarette is still smokable. Honestly, it's so surprising. I think somebody's dog wants to go inside, uh-oh. But it's just like one of those things where I'm just kind of like, I am just massively surprised right now. The Cheyenne Full Flavors, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right, do correct me if I'm saying that wrong, but the Cheyenne Full Flavors, after a year kind of thing, are just still just absolutely, absolutely fantastic. And I mean like, a year old cigarette, I was expecting a horrible experience. And I do think that this would be a little bit of a worse experience if it wasn't with a, uh, what, what is it again? I'm trying to remember the word. Uh, if it wasn't with, I'm getting a little bit buzzed right now. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. I am losing my train of thought, you know what I'm saying? But I think it would be a little bit worse if the paper wasn't like, it wasn't like tobacco paper, if it was actual paper paper kind of thing, because I think the paper would dry out a little bit more than this. I think this probably has some residual moisture in it that's been leaking out over the last year, and I'm pretty sure that's why it's probably stayed as intact as it has. But overall, no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? But I hope y'all's day has been going absolutely, absolutely fantastic, you know what I'm saying? The draw is lightening up a little bit, so my day is going absolutely fantastic, you know what I'm saying? I got this, I got the shades on because it is so bright outside right now and I could just not see anything at all, I guarantee it, if I did not have them on. But hey, I mean like no complaints. I hope y'all's day is going absolutely fantastic as said. And if it isn't, well, I hope this video can just make your day a little bit better. But hey, no complaints on my behalf. This year old cigarette, the draw is lightening up right now, which is very surprising. I think I might have like just shifted some tobacco around with my, uh, with my pole or something like that. Oh, 
I don't know, very surprising overall, but the taste is still very intact. I don't remember exactly what these do taste like at new. And um, here's the numbers right there. I don't know what the numbers say, but there's the numbers on it. But overall, like, this is just a very surprising experience. I'm definitely going to have to see if I can find some cigarettes that I would have to say are more than a year old. I, mean, I want to find some five-year-old cigarettes. I want to find some 10-year-old cigarettes. I want to find some 15-year-old, 20-year-old, 30-year-old. I want to find some World War II cigs too. I saw a video on my on my YouTube recommendations and watched it and it was a smoking a, a, a World War II cigarette, which was pretty cool. I got to be completely honest with you. I got to find me a pack like that. But man, this is very surprisingly good. I got to be completely honest with you. My, 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 my expectations were very low. My expectations were very low because I've, I've smoked a six-month-old American Spirit before, and it was not very good. A six-month-old American Spirit was not very good at all. Granted, it was on my shelf for six months, not in a cool, dried place kind of thing. So it was on my shelf for six months, and I just did not feel like smoking it kind of thing. And this was probably when I first started smoking around about. I just was not smoking for a little bit kind of thing, and I had a pack of American Spirits sitting out there for six months. And I wanted to finish off the pack. I didn't want to waste the just just waste the pack kind of thing. But I, <coughs> oh, man, my throat's getting clogged, you know what I'm saying? My first time smoking one of these uh, filtered cigars in quite a while. But those were just so absolutely just dried out, i got to be completely honest with you all. They were just so dried out. And I was just kind of like, man, this is terrible. Of course, I finished off the pack. But these are so much better than them. These are 10 times better than them kind of thing, which is just so surprising. I got to be completely honest with you all. I am very surprised at how much better this is. And I really do think it comes down to it being stored in a cool, dry place, which is very, very surprising. I got to be completely honest with you all. But hey, no complaints on this, no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying, I'm getting a little bit buzzed right now, there's a little bit of tar coming through there, and no complaints on my behalf, no complaints on my behalf, I am just thoroughly impressed, you know what I'm saying, I'm thoroughly impressed, I gotta be completely honest with y'all, that this has been able to actually, like, stay somewhat good for the last year. So I hope you guys are thoroughly impressed too, you know what I'm saying, and I do apologize for if you guys hear any wind noise or anything, the wind just picked up just a little bit. But man, today I cannot complain though. I cannot complain about my day today. My day has been pretty going pretty well. It is currently about one o'clock. You know what I'm saying? It's currently about one o'clock. And the day is just going absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Just absolutely loving it. And just enjoying the day overall, you know what I'm saying? But man, this, there's a bug going flying around me, you know what I'm saying? But this is just an absolute fantastic cigarette so far. I am very, very, there's a bug flying around me. I don't know what this bug is doing. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. I got my lighter. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go like that and, and, and burn it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to go like that and have him fly around me, just like that, you know what I'm saying? He's gone, but no. Um, but day other than the bug flying around me has been pretty good so far and I hope y'all's day has been pretty good so far as well. This is just staggering to me. This is staggering to me. This is such a surprise. I gotta be completely honest with y'all because I really was not expecting this cigarette to actually work um, after like sitting for a year kind of thing. So it is very surprising. But yeah, this not bad at all. Cannot complain in the least and just enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? But man, ooh, ooh. Can I complain the least, you know what I'm saying? Can I complain the least? I am just so surprised at how good this has actually been and so happy. I gotta be completely honest with y'all, I am so happy right now. But man, yeah, can I complain the least? Can I complain the least? I gotta be completely honest with y'all. But man, I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple triple hits, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, 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 getting buzzed, getting buzzed. That's nice, that's nice. But man, ooh, ooh, this is just, I am just staggered right now. I really am just staggered right now, I gotta be completely honest with you. I mean like, cigarettes, as said, with the American spirits that I left on my shelf for six months, they were disgusting kind of thing. I said I still smoked them because I mean like, I'm not gonna waste some cigarettes, but these aren't even disgusting. They taste like they're still new kind of thing to me at least i don't really remember smoking these all that much kind of thing i don't really remember what exactly they taste like but i mean like they're still just absolutely just so impressive and 
I am very surprised and very happy to report that. I guess if you store it in a, in, a, in a box under your bed for a year, your cigarettes might be fine, you know what I'm saying? But acid, I really do think that this would be a little bit worse if it actually was paper paper kind of thing. If, since this is uh, more of a tobacco paper, oh, it is tobacco paper because this is a filtered cigar, not a cigarette, um, then I do think it would be a little bit worse. But this is still a cigarette to me, so hey, I ain't complaining, you know what I'm saying? If it's got a filter and it's got tobacco in it, it's a paper, you know, or it's a paper, it's a cigarette. Although, I guess that kind of gets rid of unfiltered cigarettes. I guess unfiltered cigarettes wouldn't be considered cigarettes uh, by that definition. But, hey, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But no complaints on my behalf. No big body coming off of this today. But, man. Ooh, ooh. This. I got a couple more hits left, so I'm going to go and take that in a minute. But this is just, I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised right now, i got to be completely honest with y'all. <sighs> surprised, impressed, etc. You know what I'm saying? Etc. Because, I mean, like, let me know what you guys had. Let me, let, let me know what you guys' experiences have been with your old cigarettes, or, or longer, or even shorter kind of thing. Let me know what your guys' experiences have been with just six-month-old cigarettes, because that's the American spirit thing where it was just horrible, it was stale, it didn't taste good, it was all dried out kind of thing. That was my, that was what I was expecting from this. But this is not what I got, and I'm very, very surprised right now. I gotta be completely honest with y'all, like, this is just so surprising to me, and I'm not complaining at all. Let me tell you what. A little bit of a harsher hit on that. I think I may have hit the filter, so I think I'm gonna go ahead, trash this, throw this in the trash in a minute, and go ahead and end the video here. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me smoke a Cheyenne full flavored, a year old Cheyenne full flavored, you know what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my experience with a year old cigarette. And if you guys did enjoy seeing my experience with a, with a one year old cigarette, you know what I'm saying? Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I got my Instagram and my book and my merch in the description down below. Go check all those out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?